What's good, y'all? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, a couple days ago, we had Christmas. For me, Christmas is gifts for the kids and then NBA for the rest of us. Now, a lot of people are upset at Nike. They're like, Nike, it's Christmas Day and you didn't give us new jerseys. Now, personally, for me, I don't really care because a lot of the time the Christmas Day jerseys are trash. But a couple days after that, they released the NBA City jerseys. All 30 teams got brand new jerseys. And I'm going to tell y'all straight up, a lot of these jerseys are complete fire. Like, this is one of the best sets of jerseys ever. But when there's fire, there's also, well, well, trash. And in today's video, we're going to be ranking all 30 jerseys. Now, I got four different tiers. I got the trash tier, which means that literally I think that these jerseys are trash. They could have came up with something completely different, and it would be completely better. Then we got the eh jerseys, which means that they're pretty average. Nothing too bad about them, but nothing good about them either. Then you got the above average tier, which means that these jerseys are solid, but they ain't amazing. They're above average, but not amazing. And then you just got the dope tier, which I think that's some of the best jerseys ever created, all right? So this is a strictly opinion-based video. You may disagree with everything I say in this video, but that is completely fine. If you think about it, if I got something trash that you think is dope, that's fine. Because somebody had to think it was dope for them to create it, you feel me? But this is just strictly my opinion. You can agree or disagree if you want. Uh, before we get into it, I gotta do my shout out to the day, wherever you at, cannot forget y'all. Let's get into it. The first trash jersey on my list is the Orlando Magic jersey. I'm sorry. This is just trash. When I saw it, the first thing that came to mind was a video from NBA 2K16 where Shake and Bake used to create custom jerseys for all 30 teams, whatever. Actually, let me just play the clip. Yeah, it was cool to rock those for a little bit. I like doing the seasonal stuff, but for now, man, gotta go with these jerseys. Just looking too clean. Now you can't tell me that they didn't look at Shake and Bake's video and just recreate it with a different kind of logo. It's the same thing. And ultimately, it's trash. The next trash one on my list is this OKC Thunder one. Something about this is just boring. It's bland. And on this list, there are a lot of jerseys that are very simplistic, but they do they do the simplicity right. This one's just boring. These three stripes going across, it just seems very, very lazy to me. And I know all 30 have a double meaning behind them. They all have a meaning. And I'll try to take that into consideration when I'm doing my rake case. But this one has no saving grace for me. It's just trash. Now, the third one is the San Antonio Spurs one. We have so many camo jerseys for the Spurs already. Now, I understand the meaning behind is supporting the military, which I'm 100% behind. Shout out to everybody that's protecting the great states um, overseas or whatever. But there are other ways you can do that besides camo, man. Camo this, camo that. I'm just tired of the camo. Let's, let's think of something different for the Spurs. It's trash. The next one on my list that is considered trash is the Boston Celtics one. This is literally the same jersey we've been seeing for their entire existence as the Boston Celtics. Now, I know you want to keep it traditional, this or that, but there are other teams out there that are usually traditional when it comes to jerseys that took a step out. The Celtics one is just the same thing over and over. And I think it's trash. The next one on my list is this Clipper one. Now, I know they're paying their homage to these, these San Diego days. That's why they got the weird colorway. The colorway is not too bad, but something about this is just, just boring and trash to me. So, it's got to be on the trash list. Now, the next one is the Sacramento Kings one. Just something about this is just so boring and trash to me, man. It's just there. That's, that's just what I can say about it. It's there and it's not good. <laughs> But now we get into the S section, which basically means they're average jerseys. And the first one is the one for the Houston Rockets. We've already had a jersey like this, Houston. Come on. We've already had this jersey before. So because of that, it's just eh. We've seen it before. Now, it's not on the same level as the Boston Celtics one where we've seen it for 60 years. But they also have a jersey where we get the, is it the Chinese, is that Chinese? Chinese lettering? I'm past it. It's average. Next, you got the Detroit Pistol one. Honestly, we could have got something super fire for the Motor City one. It's the Motor City. You can tell me you can come up with something car related or something. It just says Motor City. The stripes down the side. It's just pretty average to me. I mean, it, it is a step above some of the jerseys they've released in the past. But again, just average. Now, the Mavericks one, it was teetering on trash and eh. But I put an eh just because it is a little step out of their comfort zone. Ultimately, it's not great. It's just average. It's just average, man. Big controversial here, but I got the Lakers one. A lot of people on Twitter were praising this one for being so great. I just don't see it as great. They're paying their homage to Kobe once again, like for the thousandth time, because they got the snake skin as part of the jersey, which is cool and all. But man, Kobe's done. 
Kobe's done. When he retired, he didn't step foot back into the Staples Center until his jersey retired. You may never see Kobe back in the Staples Center unless they, they're winning the championship. You know, you probably show up for that. It's cool. It's just not great. So it's average. The next one. Now, this crest is pretty cool. They're paying their homage to the, the firefighters who basically fight fires. They did some big things back in 2001, obviously. And I respect that 100%. But I think they could have done a little bit better. I think they could have done a little bit better. So that's why it's average. It's not bad. Actually, it was it was teetering between above average and average for me. But ultimately, I settled for average. This is a jersey I could definitely see my boy uh, Pee Wee the Plug picking up. Because it is cool. It is cool. Don't get me wrong. It's just not anything super special. The Utah Jazz one. A lot of people making fun of this one on Twitter. I think it is okay. It's a step outside of the comfort zone. You think about Utah as kind of this bland city. They don't have an amazing offense, but they got Donovan Mitchell, which is cool. This is not a super flashy team, but here they are. Like, here go some colors, y'all. Let's get some colors, some gradient colors in. And ultimately, I think it's okay. I like the font that they use for the Utah in the 17, the We Are Utah, down by the tags. I think it's pretty solid. So because of that, it's not on the trash list, but it's I. Right. Now, the Blazer one is paying respect to, I think it was Jack Ramsey, one of their legendary coaches. I don't really know much about him, but he used to wear a bunch of plaid shirts and plaid jackets when he was coaching, and that's what this plaid comes in at. It's all right. That's it. Nothing special about it. I wouldn't pick this up myself, but I'm sure Damian Lillard would drop 30-plus in this jersey, so take that for what it is. And the last average one is this Atlanta Hawks one. It just don't, it, I, I think it got a lot going on, but not in a good way. You feel me? It's pretty average. I think they had Young Jeezy come out with the first one to have this jersey, which is pretty cool. I, I guess if you like Young Jeezy, I'm sure there are other people in Atlanta that may be better. But nonetheless, it's average. Let's move on to above average. Now, the first above average one is this Milwaukee Bucks one. It actually got leaked from 2K, I guess. So, this is one of the first ones I've seen. I was like, okay, if this is the way they're going, this set is going to be really good. And this is definitely cool. The cream, it's just, I think it's real nice. Now, I have a Bucks jersey in the back. This is like their average one that they wear at home jerseys. This one's really, really solid. I got it. It's definitely above average. Next, the Chicago Bulls one. Now, this is going back to the Boston one where I said there are teams out there that stayed to their roots for all the time, and then they took a step out. This is a step out for Chicago. All of our jerseys have looked the same throughout history, and it's a pretty good jersey. But this one, they're taking a step back to, I want to say, like the 70s and the 80s with the colorway, and then the four stars down the side, obviously, for the, the Chicago flag, which is really dope. It's cool. It's very, very cool. That's why it's above average. Will I buy this one? Probably not. But I think it's still solid. Controversial. Now, some people think this Cleveland Cavalier one is trash. But honestly, I mess with it heavy, man. I do. I think it's really solid. Now, besides the fact that it says the land, and I think that's kind of lame, the colorway and then the designs on the side are really, really solid. And I expect nothing less for a team that's competed for a championship, really. All of their jerseys are going to be pretty good. This is definitely above average jersey for me. Maybe not for you, though. The Memphis one. Simplicity can be key, and that's what you get with the Memphis Grizzlies one. It literally just says Memphis, but it's so clean with the black and white, and the double meaning behind this is um, something to do with the civil rights movement with um, Martin Luther King and I Am A Man. It's a whole movement that happened back there, and the simplicity is very, very key here. I love this jersey. If I was a Memphis Grizzlies fan, I'd be hopping all over this jersey. I'm not a Memphis Grizzlies fan, though, so I'm not going to be buying it. But it's really cool if you ask me. The Brooklyn Nets one is one that I was trying to figure out. Is this average? Is above average? I went with above average. I, just, I don't really know why. But the curvature to the to the font has always been something I've been a fan of. If you look at some of the Pro-Am teams I've been creating over the past couple years. I, I tend to have the curvature for the lettering. It just always looks cool to me. And then, well, yeah, Brooklyn. Brooklyn's pretty cool. The New Orleans one has to do with Mardi Gras. That's why we got these crazy colors. Now, I, I, I was trying to figure out, should I put this at average? Because we've seen a jersey like this before for New Orleans. It's not, it's not the first time we've seen something like this. But I really like the old one, too. So because of that, we got this. Now, if, we, if you ask me, this, this Pelicans team should be named the Jazz. If you really think about it, Utah came from New Orleans, right? That's where the Jazz team came from. They just kept the name of Utah. The Utah has nothing to do with music. New Orleans is where music is. That is music. So I think it should be still a Jazz, but... Nonetheless, this is really cool. 
this one is showing its respect to like the Hispanic population in the city. That's the, the Phoenix uh, Los Suns one. And the corner, it says Somos uh, Phoenix, which means that we are Phoenix. I took Spanish four years back in high school. I remember a little bit. Uh, I really like it. Simplicity can be key. And it's all purple. Just looks clean. And then the two tones of purple around the edges, I, I think this is real, real clean. So it's in my above average. The Warriors one is really nice. Now, again, showing its respect to the Chinese population, similar to like uh, the Houston Rockets one. Very, very cool, very cool design in the middle, man. I can't wait to see them playing these jerseys. Um, if I was a, a Warriors fan, I definitely would be picking this one up, especially since they may win a championship. And nonetheless, really, really cool. Shout out to the Bay. Denver Nuggets one is above average to me. Again, another one that I feel like I've seen this design before, but this, this one just doesn't take away from the fact that this is really, really clean. This is really, real clean. That's all I can say about it. got the mountain peaks, and then you got the, I don't know, I'm not a handyman. What are those hatchets? I, I don't know, but really clean. I've always liked the, the colorway for the, for the Nuggets, and because of that, it's really cool. I was this close to putting this at average, and I really don't know what made me put it above average, but the, the claws on the side are really cool for the Wolves, and then just the overall gray colorway has always been something I'm a fan of, whether it be whatever team does it. Besides, again, okay, besides the Boston, what? It's just so boring. I'm sorry, Boston fans. I'm, I'm, I'm nagging on y'all, but... I just don't really like that jersey. This one is pretty cool. And the last above average one is this silky white Wizards one. Yo, this one is dope. I mean, it was this, actually, it was this close to being on my dope category. I really, really like this jersey though. I don't know why I didn't make the dope. Like you're gonna see the dope category. It's above, it's above this. So maybe that's why I just put it above average. I, I just think this is so cool with the district, the eye in the district being the basketball. Whoever designed this one, you the real MVP, because this is dope. First dope one, I gotta go with the Raptors, y'all. This one with the with the arrow point up north, and then the north going. Yo, this is this is super super fire. And even though I'm not I'm not a Raptors fan, I may pick up like pretty much all these dope jerseys. That's why I said they're dope. They're making me like the jersey to enough where I'm gonna pick it up when I'm not even a fan of the team. That's let you know, like that. That's how good the fashion or the design is to this one. I just really like this, man. It just basically remind me of the the Drake OVOs, and that, that maybe where they're going with it. <laughs> Come on, man. This is fire. The Philadelphia 76 one is just as clean, and simplicity can be key. And this is the perfect example of that. You keep your colors, the red, cream, and blue. The fi oh my god, yo! When I saw the the commercial, was it a commercial or like the promo for this one? Ben Simmons had it all. I was like, God. I want that jersey and again they're dope so i may pick it up i can't say much about this y'all it's just it's just so fire it's just so fire let's move on to the next one the pacer one now this, you remember back when i was talking about the detroit piston i was like they could they could come up with a way to incorporate like cars in this and you know that's what the indiana pacers did you got the checker finish line you know because pacers indiana you know race cars and stuff they figured out a way to basically show what the city is about with the checker, that's fire. That's super fire. And then throw an old depot on it. Yo, you got me. Take my money right now. This one, <laughs> I did not expect the Charlotte Hornets to come out with some fire like this. They're going to be losing a lot of games in these jerseys. No, I'm not taking shots. I'm not taking shots. But the Bulls do have a better record than you at this moment. Figure something out. This is just so clean. And now, obviously, since Jordan is the owner, they got the jump man in the corner. This is about the best jersey that this team has ever created. Honestly, ever created. Really, really solid. Into the swarm, 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 fire. And last, but definitely not least, this may be my favorite one. It's the Miami Heat one. This just, yo, I got a bit of nostalgia feeling in me because of the GTA Vice City. This is so Vice City. I love it. I love it. I can't I can't say much else about it. I've, I've talked bad about the Miami Heat in the past, but I did apologize on Twitter, Miami Heat fans. Trust me, I apologize on Twitter. This is so fire that I may be watching y'all play more as long as I know y'all playing in these jerseys. This is, this is definitely my favorite jersey out of all 30. And that's saying a lot because I like a lot of these jerseys. But this is my favorite. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave it a like. Let me know in the comment section below what's your favorite and what's your least favorite. I'm very excited to see what y'all say. Thank y'all so much for watching. Peace.